Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Join me today for an unboxing. Now I did a video on AliExpress um, a couple of weeks ago talking about the best releases of 2021 so far and I did mention one of the watches that I did purchase was the Rectangular Monster Homage and a week and a half in it has arrived from AliExpress so very very quick delivery. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting anything to come through as of yet so good news. So this video is just going to be a brief unboxing. We'll talk about the watch. We'll have a quick look at it. And for reference on my right, I have the Heimdallah Monster Homage. So let's go ahead, open up the box. Let's see what we have. Now this box, Rectangular, I've gone for something really solid, robust. This miniature briefcase style. Um, needless to say, it is very solid. So it's going to get you very safe. Got the watch in some very protective packaging. As usual, we've seen this with previous rectangulars. Is an instruction manual. Of course, a warranty card as well. And a nice little spring bar removal tool. We'll get to that after. Okay, so you can put the box away. Let's have a look at the goods. Quick wrist check. I'm wearing the Seiko Yellowfin baby tuna just my most recent acquisition love this watch so let's have a look at what we have now i've got to be honest i did uh, vocalize my opinion when i first saw this i wasn't truly sold on this but i have to admit a few people did kind of push in the comment section for me to get this in and yes i folded to a bit of peer pressure but looking at the pictures closer it you know, I will admit it has kind of grown on me. So let's have a look straight out of the box. And yes, comparing it to now the Heimdallah Monster Homage, which is a very traditional homage. You know, I've covered this watch uh, quite extensively on this channel. Um, now let's look at this rectangular. So quite, quite different to what we were expecting. But of course, the pictures do make it look absolutely out of this world. And if anything, I'll say just on looks, it actually looks like more of a monster than the Heimdallah one. And I went with the black, gradient black dial. I did choose the orange. So let's talk about the color options available. You get this in black, red, orange, blue, and yellow. And all the dials are this uh, great sunburst gradient effect dial, which I think is a really nice touch. Of course, you got the fang-like indices as well present on the dial. Stainless steel. As you can see, the sawtooth style of bezel. Great, you know, it's got good features. Um, if you look at the crown, again, you've got this oddly machined crown, again, fitting this monster look. Let's unscrew it, let's get the watch going. So let's briefly cover some of the specifications. Sapphire Crystal 316L stainless steel case. Seiko Epson NH36 hand winding and hacking day date function movement. 21,600 beats per uh, hour. Gives you a sweep of six ticks per second. We're very accustomed to this movement, of course. Let's give this a quick wipe down. AI coated Sapphire Crystal. I'm consciously not going to touch the bezel. I want to save that for the review. I do want to save some things for the review. And this is just going to be a quick visual on the watch. Polished brush case. Case feels really nice. But what I do really like is let's peel the backing off here. This. The case back. Now it's a play on that, you know, the great wave image that you see on a lot of Seiko watches. And as you can see, the wave actually has been transformed into Godzilla, monster in the top. You know, in tune with the theme of the watch. Very in tune. I like that from Rectangular. And one of the standout features on this is the strap is actually quite nice. It's quite different. You know, you've got this accordion style strap that we see on Seiko's, but it's so well made. Let's check this out. A bit of texturing there actually a very nice strap i'll give them that and then this is one of my other favorite features just look at that again with the theme i really do like this 
So fair play to Rectangular. Yes, they did win me over eventually after, you know, a lot of you guys did request this. So that's a very nice dial as well. Now the price of the watch, uh, I did pay £136 approximately for this watch, which equates to roughly $188. So just under $190. Uh, so I think reasonably priced. You know, it's in a, it's in that really affordable bracket. So let's see what we make of this watch in the full review. All right, so you've seen the watch. That is it, I'm afraid, for the unboxing. I'm not going to cover anything else. You will have to wait for the full review. So having said that, I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and until next time.